So we have some NIL data from Open Doors. Open Doors is like a platform for athletes to do NIL deals pretty much. So they have a lot of data. Cool. Um, they probably don't have all of it because I guarantee there is some under the rug deals that go on in all these universities, like how they've been doing it ever Robert. before NIL. Yeah. So this is just stuff that is actually out on the On market. the books. So men completed 62% of the deals disclosed on the platform. But if you take football out, it's women accounted for 52% of it. Wow. That's actually really equitable. Which I'm kind of surprised. I thought the same thing too. But then I realized, do you know why it's women? Because they're hot. There's hot women. There's beautiful <laughs> women. There's the Candiver, oh, Cadiver, oh, whatever twins. You're so right. Cavender twins. Yes. It's because like the All people who can actually move product on Instagram are just hot girls. Exactly. That's what... I was like, wow. Equality, this, baby. This makes, we, we love equality. <laughs> this makes perfect sense. So that's interesting to note. So men completed 63% of all deals, except you take football totally out of it, which is the highest grossing sport yeah. in college. In college. 100,000% yep. it is. Women are actually 53%. Yeah. That's pretty cool, yeah. actually. Open Doors estimates college athletes earned $917 million in year one of NIL. And it projects year two could reach $1.14 That's billion. Awesome. That's that awesome. Really sick. Seventy-six percent of athletes on the platform re received at, at least, least one, one deal. deal. Nice. That's insane. Good for them. So here's by sport, total compensation, total activities, football, men's basketball, women's basketball, women's volleyball, ah. softball, women's baseball. Yeah. So you're, so you're this really is interesting to note. So despite the fact that the amount of deals completed may be equitable, the amount of money earned is not equitable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So it's saying that let's say. With football in the equation, 63% of the deals are men, which means 37% of the deals are women. Mm -hmm. So if you say 63 to 37%, honestly, since women don't have football, that almost sounds like it's pretty close right, to Right, exactly, yes, yes. But then you look at total compensation. Yes. Half of every dollar being spent on NAL right now is football. 70% yes. is men's basketball. Women's basketball is damn close. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So so really, women's volleyball yeah, is just, It pretty much drops off. Yeah. No, I was saying women's volleyball being four is, or fourth is hilarious. Oh, yes. Because yeah. you know that yeah. women's volleyball, like the girls in women's volleyball are the hottest girls on the planet. Yes, yes, and they yes, all wear yes. like no clothes. Yep. So they have the most Instagram followers. So yep. they get the most deals. Yep. That is fucking hilarious. Then it goes softball, swimming, baseball. All right. I'm going to be a misogynist here for like 85 seconds. <laughs> Men's baseball, I would bet every dollar in my bank account that men's baseball is a higher grossing sport than women's volleyball. And yet NIL deal wise, women's volleyball makes, has more, 0.6% more yeah. total compensation than men's baseball. Isn't that insane? Because men's yeah. baseball players, I'm sure they have nice followings on Instagram, yeah. but it's nowhere near what like an Dude, Oregon woman's volleyball yeah, player. Your first have. reaction, you're like, what? How is like men, like how is the, all the men's sports not at the top and the women's are towards the bottom just for so Solely based off of viewership and how popular mm -hmm. the sport is, but it, you know it all makes sense because it's not. It doesn't matter if these people are popular. Really, at the end of the day, some of them. You it, just all have to move product. All yeah. that matters is if they're attractive or look good or can post really good social media things. Wait, that's some so other... true though. You could be literally like like back. What's it called? Libero? Is it libero in volleyball? Like like that's the center. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. There's like one girl in volleyball who wears like different colored shorts yes, or something. Yeah, yeah. They're like, like the, the captain yeah, out yeah, there yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. You could be third string left bench libero, yeah. but if you're so Smoking hot. Right. Oh, uh, you could pull some That's NIL. What I'm saying, deals. Dude. It's pretty sick. Good for them. Total compensation, the lowest is women's rowing. That is not all too shocking. Uh, men's lacrosse being beat by men's gymnastics. Let's fucking go. Wow, my my yeah. dad, my dad was a gymnast at Michigan State for everyone wondering men's why. Men's golf. Said, There's a lot men's of money in golf. Wrestling is up there. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. And then he, down here just kind of shows some of the schools, gives us some numbers. Athletes have disclosed more than 2.4 million in NIL deals at BYU. At BYU. BYU is just teeming with money. Those Mormons are just keeping it in, in the crowd. Illinois disclosed 400 NIL deals among 150 athletes. Half of those deals were for football and men's basketball players, but each of the school's 21 sports had at least one athlete with, with a deal. deal. That's really cool. Yeah. Minnesota, 650 students with NIL deals. Ohio State. That's gotta be so many. 1,100 NIL deals. 600 total of 2.9 million in earnings. That's so cool. I wonder what they're doing with it. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to ask. I'd love to sit 
down with Bryce Young and be like, how much have you been paid actually? Don't bullshit. And what have you spent it on? Yeah. It's like that GQ. You ever see those GQ videos they do? It's like how I spent my first million mm -mm. or whatever. I feel it's like, on yeah, YouTube. They'll be like, about. they'll do it with Mark Cuban yeah. and they'll do it with like, you know, Donovan Mitchell in the NBA. Right. They always do it with NFL players. Like DK Metcalf has one, I'm pretty sure. That'd be sick. Dude, I, it was I actually funny. We were, I was I watching uh, Michigan versus TCU and Blake Corum. I don't know if you saw him on the sideline. He was like on crutches. Fat chain. And it said BC, like all gold diamonds and shit. I'm like, that motherfucker's making some money. That's an NIL money, deal dude. right there. That motherfucker's making some money. I know, because because before when you'd see that fat chain on him, you just look at it and you're like, okay, so you, yeah, got, like it, you got paid to come yeah, here, exactly. except you weren't allowed yeah, to. Yeah, like Alabama players on the right. sideline back like in the when, day. Like when Reggie Bush yeah. 10 years ago was rocking the fattest, like $120,000 gold chain. It's like, hmm. He's got a grill. It's like, where, where'd you get that, Reggie? Where'd you get that from? So here, I got some tweets here for some sources. This is a dude that covers Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State missed out on a five-star recruit because they could not pay him an, even half of what he was looking for. They didn't give him over 750K. UGA offered the kid 1.8 million to sign and 800K a season. OSU couldn't give him more than 500K. So that just kind of brings back- Double-edged sword. Brings back on, is this gonna start literally being like the NFL, even maybe worse because of the transfer portal and players are just bop and bop, just literally right. going wherever you, they you want. You go somewhere, they don't give you the reps you want, skirt. See ya, peace. It like, is, it is. So easy. It is, I hate to say this because I fucking love college football. I don't think I people will ever stop loving college football and the spirit of college football will always, in my opinion, be better than NFL. Yeah. Those stadiums and the way people act will always be better, but it will be fucking worse, worse than the NFL. The NFL right now, the players are the pawns of the teams and you might think that's unfair, but at least that way, you can't just jump ship when you're unhappy. Right. Can you imagine what the NFL would look like if every player jumped ship as soon as they were unhappy with their reps? Yeah, yeah. Or can you imagine if a player who's really good on a really good team just said, fuck it, I'd way rather just jump ship and just go to a shittier team yeah. where I'll get more reps. Yeah, yeah. Like a backup halfback on it, like Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt on the Browns is probably the perfect example. I have no idea if Kareem Hunt feels this way, yeah. but like Kareem Hunt is so good, mm -hmm. but he's overshadowed by Nick Chubb. Yeah. And Kareem Hunt is a starter on so many teams. If this is college football, Kareem Hunt says, nah, peace, he's I'm leaving, here. I'm gone. And, and it's like every player has just this, I don't know, I don't like it for college football. Honestly, it's gonna, it's gonna be NFL 2.0, Except players can jump ship whenever the yeah, fuck they want. Yeah, and to my knowledge, there's like no cap on it. There's no cap of like a fiscal amount of what these players can make. Like there's no like sal like NFL has salary cap or anything. That's none a really good of, point. None of these, there's no cap on any of this. Like let's say there was a generational football talent, like a LeBron James of football. Yeah. Is everyone just going to put up every single dollar they have? Right. Yeah, exactly. And then I got here too. Here's the schools that are the wealthiest to the Texas poorest. Texas is number one. Texas. Number one, all these schools that we're gonna list here, you got Texas, Georgia, already big schools. Texas though, has it been kinda doing shit for the last few A years, virtual you know? bystander, 156 million? Oh my God. Recently kicked in about 15 million annually and it's all gravy beyond the Big 12 contract. So we got Georgia, number two, Michigan, number three. Wow, that's actually surprising to me. Notre Dame. Ohio State, Penn Big State, Big Ten showing up in here, Auburn, baby. Oklahoma, Alabama. Alabama surprising. I was I about to say, Bama at nine. I thought they'd be to top be a dynasty three. like that is pretty impressive. Yeah. Where's the USC? You tell me USC ain't in this top ten? They're full of shit. Nebraska, which no, is no. random. What? And they, and I've looked at other sites, and these are all in general the same no, numbers. No, I, I agree with the site. I just can't yeah. believe it. No, me neither. But I literally, because I went and looked at different sites, I'm like, dude, Nebraska. The corn time. huskers, bro. Louisiana State? But it, it, LSU, kinda, baby. You know, it makes sense. You got, you that have. That makes sense to me. You have some of these people that go to these universities and that. they just dump money. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they just dump money no matter dude, if Dude, where is USC? Out. I can't believe USC's not in this. Washington, Iowa, Arkansas, Michigan State, 18. That's mad issue. Texas right AM, Oregon, Florida State, Texas Christian. TCU? Where the fuck is USC? Utah, Minnesota, Clemson, Illinois. Did we pass it already? Purdue, Indiana, Oklahoma. Dude, go State. control F. Southern California. There it is. Wow. So let me bounce back to this other site. This was from 2018. Wow. This is, will be a lot easier to look at here. So pretty much the same. This is from 18, but Texas, Ohio State, Alabama, Michigan, Notre Dame, Georgia, Oklahoma. Well, you know what this is though? It's it's total revenue, right? It's total revenue right. for the program. And the amount of viewers that you bring determines that. And USC, who used to be a God tier powerhouse yeah. until the NCAA put fucking handcuffs on him and said, yeah. we know you're cheating. We're making an example out of you and we're fucking you. Right. Ever since that, yeah. 
I mean, this is the first real year. To me, this is the first real year where USC is back. Yeah. Like, they have never been back to this good until this year. Mm -hmm. So I think this past decade, they're like, they're like Germany after World War II. <laughs> They're trying to fuck it. They got they're all these sanctions claw, put on them, and they're trying back. to claw back. Yeah. They're trying to claw back out of hell. All right, I guess that makes sense. Texas being number one is pretty impressive, considering they haven't been very spectacular the last... Right, yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. I think that might be... I don't know what's most surprising. I think Texas number one is most surprising. This one does have Al Alabama top three. This is from 18. I think the last one was from 2021-ish. So it was like more so, recent. But yeah, still. So to, to close it up, will, right. it, will it ruin college football? Will NIL? I don't think NIL ruins college football, but Definitely it's going to make it, it suck. Yeah. If, if college football was a 10 out of 10, it's going to go to an 8 out of 10. Yeah. And I tell you what, if I go home with an 8 out of 10, I'm not an unhappy man. I just would prefer a 10.